What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. You may not be able to tell, but I'm actually in a different shop. I'm at my father-in-law's house in Detroit, Michigan, in his shop. And what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be making some cabinet doors up in here. You know what I'm saying? So before we left home, I went and grabbed some of the maple material that we had, stuffed it in the back of the car and we drove it up here. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take some maple one bys and we're gonna throw them in the planer and take them down to a half inch because the frame of the cabinet doors are gonna be a half inch thick. So once we plane them down, we're gonna cut them to length, use the dado blade, cut a rabbit or a dado, float a piece of plywood up in there, and we'll be good to go. All right, so Bill told us that um, he's got a nick in one of the blades, so what we're gonna do, if you ever have this problem, is get a piece of scrap pine like he's got here. We're gonna run it through the planer to find out whether, where the nick is, and then instead of planing the big piece of stock first and have a nick in there, we're gonna rip everything down the table saw, then run it through the planer, stick it on one side of the bed, and miss that nick. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if you can see this. I doubt you'll be able to see it, but the first time we ran through, there's like a, a few nicks here. And then the, on the other side of the planer, it's actually absolutely smooth. So we're gonna be using the left side. We're gonna be using the left side of the planer. Um, and also what Bill pointed out is, see if you can see it. It's a little bit of what they call snipe and that's when the board isn't perfectly flat when it goes into the planer. It does this little dip, and so we'll plane the full length of the stock first so that if we do get snipe, we can just cut it off. No biggie. All right, so now it's time to plane this, this mother jammer. <laughs> It's time to plane the boards real quick. These are one by maple strips now, but they're actually, you know, about three quarters of an inch thick. We want to go to half inch, so we'll plane, you know, about an eighth inch on each side, um, and then we'll prep it to get a dado in the middle here. You ready? All right, so as you can see, got a nice dado on these, and we're gonna go ahead and put that in all of the wood we just cut, and then this will be the frame of our cabinets. See how it's going? I hope so. All right, so the last step is to plug in the microphone. <laughs> All right, so the last step is we're gonna go ahead and take the smaller cross piece for the door and cut the tongues or the tenon into that so that we can glue everything together. Almost done.
All right, now that we have all of our materials cut, what we're gonna do is we're going to glue them together. We're gonna slide the plywood in between the groove inside the frame and glue the tongues uh, and the grooves up together. However, we're not going to glue the plywood into the door, like into the whole piece for expansion and contraction. Got it? All right. All right, so we got a couple clamps on it, and this is what she looks like. You can see, it's a nice half inch shaker style door for a cabinet. Now all we have to do is make three more of those, and we'll be done with all the cabinets. Hey guys, so what we did was we, we finally finished the doors. We let it sit for a couple days while we went to um, visit family for Thanksgiving. And now the glue's dried, we're ready to take the clamps off. So what we have here is pretty much a finished door minus the hardware. And what we'll do is we'll make four more of these, excuse me, we'll make three more of these uh, to finish off all the doors for the buffet server. All right guys, so this is the, you know, 90% of the finished product here. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. And also to the right of the subscribe button, ring the little bell so that you get notified anytime I post a new video. Thanks for hanging out with us like a hair in a biscuit. Hold on a second, don't touch that camera. Hey, this is Nathan's father-in-law. We're up here in Detroit. I'm a Detroiter. I want to tell you something. I'm a fellow woodworker and for those of you that are watching his videos but not subscribing hit that subscribe button or I'm gonna come and get you and he'll do it he means it <laughs>